Hey everyone! In this video, we will be taking you around Guimaras Island. Let's go! Guimaras is a province composed of several groups of islands and one mainland. It is accessible via pump boats from Iloilo at the Parola Terminal. We took the boat to Hordan, its capital, for only 30 pesos per person. Boats arrive to and from Iloilo to Guimaras every 10 to 15 minutes and the travel time is only around 20 minutes long. Guimaras is also known as the mango capital of the Philippines, as their mangoes are among the sweetest in the world. And we're here! Once you get to Hordan, you may get a tour at the tourist center beside their port. We booked our whole day tour in advance for 1,500 pesos per tricycle for 8 hours. Our guide that day was Bria Joseph. Before we went on the island tour, we had breakfast at a nearby Carinderia at the port. We got all these for only 90 pesos. Sobrang sulit! There are also other stalls around for more options. Kaunta! First stop you will see on your way to your island tour is the smallest plaza. It is literally the smallest plaza in the country and formerly in the world with an area of less than 300 square meters. We didn't take too long checking the plaza out and immediately went on to our next stop. You will see the next stop on the right side of the road. Our next destination is the viewing point for the Guimaras windmills. The 54 megawatt San Lorenzo wind farm stretches up to 14 kilometers and is the first of its kind in the region. The 27 turbine farm started operating in 2014 and has since been producing renewable energy distributed to Western Visayas, Negros, and Cebu. It has now also become one of the tourist destinations in the province. We then took a very short stop in this popular spot for your photo op, the man-made forest. There's also a restaurant here if you need a quick bite. If you're feeling touristy like us, make sure to get a photo at the Gimara signage. Wala nang mas tuturista pa dito. They also have pasalubongs in this area including keychains made of sinukuan tree, which they say is lucky. So, nakakaswerte ba pag sinukuan? I love how the tricycles here all look like mangoes. They're very apt for the mango capital of the Philippines. Our next stop is the Trappist Monastery. It was founded in 1972 and is the only Trappist Monastery in the country. We took our time to pay for our intentions here before checking out their gift shop. If you want to go to a place in Guimaras with the most pasalubongs, this must probably be it. They have mangoes, mangoes, and more mangoes. Even the most unexpected delicacy is mango flavored. Except the mango fruit itself that you can buy, nandito na lahat. So make sure to check it out. Guimaras may be a small island, but their tourist destinations are a bit far from each other. So expect to spend a lot of time in the tricycle. Our next stop is the Gisi Lighthouse and Beach. Here we add ice candy as our quick snack before the short trek up the hill. There is a 10 pesos environmental fee for the site. This renowned 18th century Spanish outpost and lighthouse was then built to guide mariners passing the Iloilo and the Guimaras Strait. After exploring this area, you may also check out the Gisi Beach and rock formations below. After this, we went to Ryman Beach Resort or Alibuhod Beach. This has been the usual jump off point for island hopping in Guimaras. There's a 50 pesos entrance fee per person for access to this resort where you may also swim if you're not going island hopping. A boat for 1 to 10 persons would cost 900 pesos for the first hour, then 400 pesos per hour after. It's not that cheap if you're going with a small group of people, but I think it's going to be super cheap if you're going with a big group that it's exactly one boat. The first stop in this island hopping is Natago Beach. Natago Beach is a private island resort where you can stay overnight, do a day tour, or just take a visit like if you're going on an island hopping. 
The entrance fee is 50 pesos per person. They also have an isolated bamboo house a couple of steps away that's very aesthetic and is a good area to unwind. After checking the area around, we got some coconuts and took a dip in the beach. We're going to our second stop and that is at Lamurawan Island. Here they have a small grotto overlooking the clear and blue waters. There's no entrance fee but you're highly encouraged to donate to the island. Our next stop is the Baras Cave. This one's my favorite since my first time in Gimaras back in 2017. Don't miss the opportunity to swim and hang out inside the cave and admire the wonderful rock formations inside. When we went there, the tides were high so the boat cannot go inside the cave to pass through the other side. So you yourself have to swim from one side and go out the other. It was a very serene and calming experience. Our last stop for this island tour is a small but charming island named Ave Maria Island. There's not much to do here honestly, except to spend time in the island's very fine sand and clear waters as well as to bask under the sun. And that's the end of our super quick island tour. I recommend spending more time in each spot especially if it's your first time. And for a bit of adrenaline rush, you may even go to this area where you can swing, slide, and jump off the sea. Before heading back to Iloilo, we had our late lunch at the most popular restaurant in the island, The Pit Stop. It is the home of the famous mango pizza and they have several other mango-infused dishes you may order. It's my second time in Dimaras but my first time trying this, so I was really excited and scared. Better than pineapple and pizza. <laughs> but okay guys, I loved it. The mangoes worked really well on the pizza. I wasn't expecting that at all. Sobrang sarap din ang sisig nila. Must try. You may even order their onion rice for it. Sulit. Do not skip the pit stop when you're here. A couple of meters across the restaurant, we decided to buy some mangoes to bring home to Manila. The price gets extremely low during peak mango season. But we got ours for 200 to 400 pesos a kilo, depending on the size of the mangoes. Hindi naman sila nalamog hanggang sa pag-uwi, kaya pwedeng-pwedeng gawing pasalubong. And that's the end of our day tour at Gimaras Island. Make sure to try to make time for both land tour and island hopping when you're here. Thanks for watching! Bye! Thank you, Uya. Thank you, thank you po. Bye, Gimaras. <laughs>